Hi there, I'm Susan Omer, and I want to welcome you to the first week of our time together looking at two of Hitchcock's most famous English films, The Lodger and Sabotage, and the literary works from which they were adapted. In this, our first week together, we're going to be reading The Lodger, a novel that was published in 1913 and written by a woman named Marie Bellock Lowndes. And I'd like to tell you a little bit about her. She had a very interesting life and her approach to the story so that we can compare it um, to what Hitchcock did with the film. So Marie Bellock Lowndes was born in 1868 in France. Her family is French. But when she was four, they moved to the UK. So she grew up in the UK. They were a very socially prominent family and a very well-connected family. Uh, if you are a scientist or a chemist, or if you remember your chemistry classes, you might recall a chemist by the name of Joseph Priestley, who identified the element or the existence of oxygen. Priestley was her great-great-grandfather. So she certainly came from a, a line of smart people. Um, her family was also very interested in contemporary literature, and they knew a lot of authors. So when they were in France, her, her parents knew Zola, and when they moved to the UK, they were friends with the Rossettis and with Robert Browning, the poet. It is said that Browning read some of her earliest work and encouraged her. In fact, she published her first short story when she was 16. So she was encouraged in her writing and she was a very prolific writer. She wrote essays, she wrote memoirs, she wrote novels, all the way practically up until her death in 1947. Another interesting fact about her life is that she was very interested in creating opportunities for women. So we've been reminded lately of the 100th anniversary of women getting the right to vote in the United States. And of course, there was a long suffrage movement for women voting in the UK as well. And she was one of the supporters of that. In fact, in 1908, a group of women writers banded together to form the Women Writers Suffrage League, and she was one of the earliest members. So she was committed from the beginning to increasing opportunities for women. So this is something interesting to know about her. Her name is also interesting, too. So Bellock was her family name. Lowndes was the name of her husband, Frederick. He was a journalist as well for the London Times. So it's not a hyphenated name, but she uses both her maiden name and her married name, which was not that common in the early 20th century. So, so that's striking. She's a very modern woman. Um, she published her first novel in 1904, and she published The Lodger in 1913. Now, she described The Lodger as being a fictionalized working of the Jack the Ripper story. So we want to take a little time to, to look at that story because it very much influenced Hitchcock as well. 